Hello and a warm welcome to St. Stephen Walbrook and to this week's Choral Classics with music and readings commemorating All Saints Day, which was yesterday, and All Souls Day, which is today. The choral scholars are directed by Andrew and accompanied by Phoebe. We'll provide a, a video of the performance on the church's website, so we request that you don't record any of the performance. The opening music was O Quam Gloriosum, a motet written for All Saints Day by the Spanish Renaissance composer Victoria in 1572 when he was organist of the Church of Santa Maria di Monserrato in Rome. The text is from the book of Revelation and celebrates, oh how glorious the kingdom wherein all the saints rejoice with Christ. We now hear Christ is the morning star, a lively setting by the contemporary composer Cecilia McDowell of the poetic words by the Venerable Bede, the 8th century Northumbrian monk and scholar. Christ is the morning star who, when the night of this world is past, gives to his saints the promise of the light of life and opens everlasting day.
poet Francis Bellaby, who died in 1975, was born in Bristol, and most of her verse is set in Devon and Cornwall. Her poem, All Souls Day, weaves together imaginary and remembered conversation in a hushed late autumn setting. The poem blurs the borders between life and death, past and future. The brother whom she lost in the First World War may well be the featured figure in the poem. Let's go our old way by the stream and kick the leaves as we always did to make the rhythm of breaking waves. This day draws no breath, shows no color anywhere except for the leaves in their death brilliant as never before. Yellow of brimstone butterfly, brown of oak, egger moth, you'd say. And I'd be wondering why a summer never seems lost if two have been together witnessing the variousness of light and the same two in lusterless November enter the year's night. The slow worm stream, how still. Above that spider's unguarded door, look, dull pearls, time's full, brimming can hold no more. Next moment, we well know, my darling, you and I, what the small day cannot hold must spill into eternity. So perhaps we should move cat soft meanwhile and leave everything unsaid until no shadow of risk can be left of disturbing the scatheless dead. Ah, but you were always leaf light and you so seldom talk as we go. But there at my side through the bright leaves you walk and yet touch my hand that I may be quite without fear. For it seems as if a mist descends and the leaves where you walk do not stir. Our next piece of music is William Byrd's communion anthem written for the Feast of All Saints and based on the Beatitudes of the Gospel of Matthew. Beati mundo corde. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God.
The work of the Victorian poet Christina Rossetti is closely connected with the Oxford movement, which reintroduced many aspects of Catholic ritual into the Church of England. Re-energizing the celebration of the saints was a feature of the Oxford movement. Rossetti's poem celebrates the numberless, diverse throng of saints referred to in chapter 12 of the letter to the Hebrews. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. All Saints by Christina Rossetti. They are flocking from the east and the west. They are flocking from the north and the south. Every moment setting forth from realm of snake or lion, swamp or sand, ice or burning, greatest and least, palm in hand and praise in mouth. They are flocking up the path to their rest, up the path that hath no returning. Up the steeps of Zion they are mounting, coming, coming throngs beyond man's counting, with a sound like innumerable bees swarming, hum humming, where flowering trees, many tinted, many scented, all alike abound with honey, with a swell like a blast upswaying, unrestrainable from a shadowed dell to the hilltop sunny, with a thunder like the ocean when in strength, breadth and length it sets to shore, more and more waves on waves redoubled, poor leaping, flashing to the shore, and like the underdrain of ebb that loseth ground for all its roar. They are thronging from the east and west, from the north and south. Saints are thronging, loving, longing to their land of rest, palm in hand and praise in mouth. Well, we now hear, give us the wings of faith by the contemporary composer James Whitbourne, based on the hymn by the 17th century hymn writer Isaac Watts, who lived just up the road. Give us the wings of faith to rise within the veil and see the saints above, how great their joys, how bright their glories be.
Many thanks indeed for joining us today. We continue our celebration of all saints at our choral Eucharist tomorrow at 12.45 with a mass by uh, Victoria. Choral Classics returns at the same time next week when we commemorate Remembrance Day. Do have a blessed week ahead. We close with uh, John Rutter's uh, uproarious 1991 Dixieland arrangement of the traditional American song, When the Saints Go Marching In.